Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to take some tomato transplants. It's a really simple, easy way to take a couple clippings and turn one plant into two or three, or however many you may be interested in growing. And this is the mini bell tomato plant, so I want to spread it out and grow with a little bit more in my garden. So I'm going to take a clipping right over here, and you don't want you don't want to use anything that's too small. It's going to have a hard time to to grow some root systems off of that. So a little bit larger is always better. And I'm gonna take the, the flowers off of it right over here. This way it doesn't concentrate any growth on flowers. Uh, it's only gonna concentrate its growth on vegetative stage. And basically that means it's gonna grow new, new leaves and new root systems down below, new branches, things like that. And if I do see flowers growing before that, I'm gonna definitely clip those off. And a lot of times where there's one set of flowers, there's usually a second one, a small one growing in. So you wanna make sure you look in the middle as so you can see there's flowers right here in the center and you could either cut those off or pinch those right off since they're so small they're really immature it should be really easy to just pinch it right off just even using your fingernail and just like that the flowers are off guys and this cutting is basically ready to be planted i'm going to be using rockwool cubes and this is the mini bell tomatoes right over here that are uh, growing I'm still waiting for them to change colors. So we got our cutting over here. And usually Rockwell Cubes, the, the hole is a little bit loose and it's a little large. So, so I like to kind of make my own hole. You could just basically puncture a hole anywhere you want using any object you have around the house. Uh, this way it makes a little bit of a tighter fit and it helps the root system grow around the cutting. And when the Rockwell cube is nice and moist, it's gonna basically help the roots grow around it. And usually tomato plants, you see all those fine little hairs growing, there's usually hundreds and hundreds of them, even on the one small little branch. All those are basically gonna turn into root systems. So same thing with the second cutting. And I'm gonna take a few more guys, I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a moment. So you can see basically we got our two cuttings right over here, it's just as simple as, as that. And we got our, I took basically four, four transplants here and I planted some seeds about 10 days ago and it looks like the seedling on the top right right here has germinated. It took exactly 10 days for the seed to pop up. And this is also the mini bill seed. I just want to do a nice comparison to see how, the, how it grows a cutting compared to the seed planting. And you can see I took two, two cuttings right here on the 1st of June. And make sure you pre-moisten your rockwool cubes, don't forget to water them daily as well, keep them nice and moist. And even just 10 days later you could see just how fast the plant has grown. And looking at the cutting down below, the root system, I noticed that one of them, the roots has started to grow. And the first seed has sprouted up here on the right. So let me show you guys what the root system actually looks like on the cutting here. And like I mentioned, it took 10 days for, for the roots to pop up. And you can see the Rockwell cube is wrapped around with the shrink wrap material. What that does is basically um, cover up the, the sides of the Rockwell cube and it doesn't let the roots grow, to grow from the side. It forces them to grow downwards, which helps them to grow down into the net cup and down into your container or reservoir, however you guys may be growing your plants. And I want to use a 3 inch net cup. This way I don't have to do any cuttings or editing to um, to this grow system. I could just throw it into a, uh, a glass jar over here. And I want to see if this plant is actually tall enough. So let's just drop it over here. Look at this beautiful root system guys. And this plant grows really well. I'm excited to spread it out throughout my system here. And lifting up the, the plastic material here, you can see how the roots are, are growing. Although they're wrapping around the sides, they are focusing downwards, so that's kind of the only direction they could go. And if you don't have, if your material, you know, your rockwell cubes are not like that, it doesn't make a difference, guys. Either way is fine. And you could see over here, it's a little bit low, so I'm gonna lift it up using some clay pebbles. And if you don't have clay pebbles or, or nut cups, all these materials, guys, you could you could basically do a DIY method at home. You can use little, little rocks or stones, gravel, 
whole lot of material should be fine. It's just something to hold up the plant in place and acts like as a little bit of, of like a wicking system, just until the, the root system grows down from the bottom. Now, once the roots basically start growing down downwards, and it touches the ear reservoir, you no longer need a wicking system anymore. The roots act as that, and it drinks up everything it needs from from inside of the container. And the clay pebbles here are just gonna help the the plant stay a little bit more firm and stable. This way, when the plant gets a little bit bigger, it, it, the root system should be a little bit stronger, and the uh, the branch should be a lot stronger. And you can see that right here, it's all all covered up. Make sure to close up any exposed areas. If you have any holes that are going through, the lights are definitely gonna find its way through and it's gonna grow algae in your system. That's not good, guys. So flipping this around, I can see the root system is beginning to poke a little bit on the side. That's a good sign. Um, kind of sped things up a little bit for me. So once I drop this in the jar, probably in a couple of days, the root system should find its way downwards already. And I'm going to use a half gallon mason jar. And this is also a, a wide mouth mason jar. This way you could see that that cup fits in just right. And I painted the jar a couple, several coats. It's like a, I think I painted black and then white over or this opaque color. And you can see the height is a little bit low, so I'm going to have to lift it up a little bit closer to the grow lights. Uh, you want to basically keep it one to two inches under the lights through most of its growth. As the plant gets a little bit bigger, you could drop it lower. But while it's so small, you want to keep it nice and close. And the easiest way to fill this up is just drop another net cup inside, guys. And it'll help you figure out where to pour your lines up to. And you want to cover just the bottom of the net cup like so. You can see when I lift it up and down, it just barely covers it. And this way all you need to do is just swap it out with your plant. And you got, you, you know for sure, the perfect water level. And I added nutrients inside the water as well. I have a mixture of Master Blend, Calcium Nitrate, and Epsom Salt. And you can see this half gallon mason jar. Hopefully it should do enough of a job for the reservoir for quite a while. We'll see, I may have to go to a gallon. I want to just try to see if like a half gallon mason jar should be enough. If it is, I'm definitely going to spread this plant out a little bit more in my area. And hopefully the other seedlings sprout some roots really soon, guys. And if you liked the episode, definitely please show me some love. Hit that thumbs up, guys. Post any messages or comments down below. I'll do my best to respond. And just to double check, we got the right level. Uh, when you lift up the net cup and you kind of tilt it like so, you can see the water basically fills up inside the net cup a little bit. And it spills out right there on the side. So I know I got the perfect level right there. So we're good to go, guys. Drop it under the lights. Hit that thumbs up. Post messages or comments down below. We'll be back soon for more. Thanks for watching.